Hey everybody, so time for the next part of that day. This is going to be picking up pretty much right after Katie did left, so yeah, let's just dive in. Alrighty, searching this bank. That was so much fun. Gotta say, she is just as awesome in person as she is in her videos. Seriously, go go subscribe to Katie Did. Gosh, this is so pretty. This thing is beautiful. I don't know if my camera is picking it up, but that has such a tight fortification grain. Wow. This thing is amazing. Oh boy. Uh, okay, well, I'll take some more close-ups once I get to the shop so you can really see this, but man, oh man, is that pretty. Hey, there's a nice agate. Oh man, I'm gonna have to clean that off. That looks like it's a pretty one. Thin, but hey, as I say in almost every video, any agate is a good agate. Oh man, I just looked up and saw how much bank there is to search. Sweet. Uh, I just realized I must have dropped my water bottle at some point while we were walking because, oh gosh, wow, giant wasp just swarming around my head. Anyway, because <laughs> I don't have it on me. So whenever I'm done here, I'm going to have to walk all the way back to where we were at and see if I can find it. But yeah, we will definitely do that because I don't want to be leaving stuff. This is some agonized wood. Oh, it definitely is some agonized wood. Sweet! Dang, that has great color. Very nice. Oh, hello, Floyd. Of course, the one time I actually remember to bring a spray bottle, I not only bring a super cheap, awful one, I then lose it and have to go find it. <laughs> hey. Someone lost a rod holder. Well, I'm gonna bring that with so it doesn't remain litter. Well, I think I may have just stumbled across a fossil. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Yes, that is so cool. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna be bringing this with and cleaning it off. That is so cool. My get best guess would be coral or a sponge. I don't know, it doesn't look like petrified wood. I know certain types of palm wood petrified palm would do that too but with the perfectly spaced holes but it doesn't look like petrified wood so ooh, that's a pretty little agate all right the light is going to be cooperating a bit more because the sun is about to ah wind has gone right light is about to hit that point ah wind i can't tell if that is petrified wood or just a very petrified wood looking sandstone formation Oh, right over here is definitely petrified wood though. Well, I'll bring it with and wash it off and we'll see. All right, culprit number one. I don't know if the light's gonna show it off very well, but it is definitely petrified wood. Oh man, that is so cool. Eh, strap, move. Again, I don't know if it's sponge or coral, but it's definitely a fossil of some kind. It's really cool though, very cool. Oh my gosh, so we have been sitting here for quite some time and right over here under this tree is this little agate with a beautiful texture on it very cool and some moss nice all right i should probably go hike back and see if i can find my bottle that i lost found it see it hiding right there well that is one very pretty very dark agate Finally, there is a good carving rock. There is a nice one. Let's see if my camera will cooperate. Uh, maybe, not really. There's some really nice moss in this one. Oh my gosh! Dang it! 
<laughs> Why wasn't she here for this one? Oh, that's a beautiful agate. Wow. Might be a limb cast, actually. Funny thing is, is we walked over this patch like four different times. Oh my gosh. Here's two more. Really dark red. Oh my goodness. Dang it. Of course I get into some big ones when she leaves. <laughs> Crap. Oh my gosh. And another one. Oh, look at that quartz seam. Dang it. Okay, so that's four big ones. Dang it. <laughs> Shoot, I wish she was here for this. Dang it, that is so upsetting. I would love for her to have seen these. I'm sorry, Kate. All right, well, I am barefoot again and about to make the, the very cold tr cross, so I will be back in a minute. All righty, so we're back at the car. I am completely out of breath because that backpack was way heavier than I was planning on. And I wanted to get you some good shots of these four right here. This one is just beautiful. Such a nice, just dark, dark agate. Great texture, it's gonna have some really nice red color. And there's this one right here, which again, really nice one. This one is a lot more translucent. Got nice banding and dendrites, so oh, that's gonna be a good one too. I'll show you this one. I can get it cleaned off one-handed. One sec. Again, I'll be getting better shots of each of them at the at the shop, but wow, that is a really nice agate. Wow. Alrighty, well I think that is gonna do it for this one. I am exhausted and need to get back to Billings, which is like over an hour drive because we have a roast in the slow cooker. So we gotta head out, but man, what an incredible day. Got into such good stuff and so much fun hanging out with Katie did. That was beyond awesome. Would love to get back out on the river with her soon, but. start going through some of these. I will grab some water and a flashlight and we'll get some close-ups, but man oh man, there's some wonderful stuff in here. Oh, also ignore this pile, that's a different video. <laughs> oh, before we get into these, I guess now would be as good a time as any to say that you enjoy rock hunting, uh, rock carving, jewelry making, shelling, all of that stuff. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already because I'm doing this kind of stuff all the time and now we're up to two or three videos a week, so there's there's a lot of content coming up. And then there's this nice piece right here, which has some very nice clear pockets throughout, which are gonna be very, very pretty. Gorgeous little piece. And then we've got this right here, which is just awesome. I love pieces like this. Very cool. And then there's a few pieces like this, which I love, because they really show the wood grain just beautifully, this piece especially. And then it's got a seam of agate that runs all the way around it, which just makes it that much cooler. Here is that beautiful one that I did not get very good shots of in the last video. This thing is insane. Gorgeous wispy banding. There's great orange, yellow, red, and green. This is a spectacular Jasper. This is just gonna be so pretty. Honestly don't even know if I'm gonna do anything with it for a while. I have to make up my mind because this is just a fantastic specimen. Wow. So cool. Sorry I'm not showing absolutely everything, I just didn't want this video to get too long and I didn't want to have to make another part three where I'm just going through everything. But anyway, on to agates. There's this one, which is just a beautiful agate. Get some light under it. Got some great banding and moss. Yeah, that's a nice one. 
And there's this one, really, really dark and has some great color variation and moss, so that is always exciting. Then there is this one, same thing, beautiful root beer color. Gonna make some beautiful cabochons. And there's this one, which is small, but absolutely beautiful. Look at those bands. That is a real pretty agate. And beautiful color. That is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Might actually thin slice this one and see if I get lucky and get another iris agate. They do happen, they're just not exactly common. Look at this one right here. Gorgeous betroidal texture. There's a druzy coating inside of that pocket. A cool skin on the outside and just wonderful color. Gotta love Montana agates. They are just something special. Look at how cool this agate is. Look at the texture on that. It's just crazy. Here's that big piece of petrified wood that I almost walked away from. Very, very pretty. On that same note, here is another piece of petrified wood. This one's actually mainly agonized wood. Very, very pretty though. Man, I've got some ideas for this one and it is gonna be really cool, I think. Here's that beauty that I found with Kate. Gorgeous, nice big piece of agonized wood. This piece of agonized wood is just amazing. Look at the color on this one. So cool. Ugh, I love pieces like this. That end grain is just beautiful. So funny, because normally when I find a big agate, I just freak out, but when I found these, my instant reaction was, oh no, why wasn't Kate here to find some too? She got a nice one too though, but still, these were really, really nice agates. Just so dark. This one is pretty broken up. It's got that good color. There is some moss in there, but it's pretty fractured, so it's probably not gonna be as nice of an agate, but you know me, any agate is a good agate. And then there's this one, which is just gorgeous. I teased this one at the end of the last video. And it almost looks like a limb cast. It is just so cool. Great color in this one. Nice banding, nice moss. Big betroidal pocket right there. Yeah, that is, that's a wonderful agate. And we've got this one, which is just too cool. Get it wet for you. All right, look at that big bubbly seam in there. Oh, that's a beauty. That is such a nice, such a nice agate. And it's so dark, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show the color very well on the camera, but that is an amazing agate. That is gonna be so pretty. And this is definitely the nicest one of the day, right here. You're not gonna believe this one. Look at this toad. Beautiful bands all the way around it. Gorgeous crystal pocket. Such a gorgeous agate. And I think the funniest thing about it is where I found them was a spot that we had walked over at least four times. So that spot was looked at by us multiple times. I don't know how we walked right over these beauties, but they were all within about 10 feet of each other, all four of them. Oh, that's such a nice agate. Alrighty, so it is like about a week or two later, and I've been doing some cabbing, and I wanted to show you all some of the stuff that the stuff from that trip turned into. I didn't record the process, because A, this video was already gonna be a little bit too long anyway for my taste, but also I was actually planning on doing a video specifically about this at some point in the future. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested, but I've been doing some cabbing. So first off, we have this beautiful little agate. I'm 
probably going to do an open back setting on this in a pendant so that you can see all that banding because that is that is a beautiful Montana agate. And there's this Jasper, which I love these so much. Keep kept hinting at the, this in a video a while back, but these are some of my favorite to work with because they have clear veins of agate throughout them and they are gorgeous. So a lot of people's introduction to Montana agate is actually through what is called scenic agate. And that is when the banding and the dendrites, everything about it, just line up so perfectly that it creates a little scene. So I found that I actually had one from that batch. So I went ahead and started working on it and this is going to be a very pretty setting. You can see, looks like a little hill with some trees and I left a little seam in the back and the reason for that is when you get a light behind it, it looks like a cloud. Scenic agates are just so much fun to work with. Look at this cabochon. Is that not just beautiful? That is such a pretty agate. Here, let me get a light behind it for you. Oh, that is so cool. I probably, again, I'm gonna do an open back wire wrap setting on this one, cause that is just too pretty. Alrighty, well, that is gonna do it for this one, I believe. I'm sorry if this went a little bit longer than I meant for it to, but I didn't wanna do another part three of just going through everything. Sometimes I like to just show everyone what we got into the same trip. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Definitely don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I love having conversations with you all. Uh, go ahead and like the video if you liked the video. <laughs> and I will have another one out very, very soon. I've got some really cool stuff planned, so yeah. And something very special that should be done soonish, but yeah, it's, yeah, anyway, man. <laughs> have another one out soon. See y'all in a couple days. Absolutely beautiful.